Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. This is Coon Cassis for IFL TV. We are on Boulevard, Boulevard, Boulevard Way. Is it Boulevard Way? Boulevard World. Boulevard World. In Greece. And Egypt. Yes, and there's a shooting range over there, so if you hear noises in the interview, that is the... Uh, yeah, that's not people having a pop at home. No, no exactly. Um, we're here, ready to go. Weigh in. You see these two absolute Adonises face off against each other before knockout chaos ensues tomorrow night in Riyadh on a massive night of boxing live on the zone around the world. It's tomorrow night, by the way, Friday night. And uh, I think this is going to be an unbelievable card. Honestly, better pound for pound than knockout K uh, than Day of Reckoning. Can't wait. Yeah, that's a bit of a strong call because that was a very, very good yeah, card. I just feel like, obviously, that was all heavyweights pretty much. And I think that like the fights on this card, Nick Ball against Vargas, Madrimov against Kurbanov, obviously Joyce Zhang's going to be a cracker as well. But even like Gavin Gwynn against Mark Chamberlain is going to be a complete tear up. So. You know, for me, uh, I think this will be an unbelievable night of boxing. We're looking forward to it, and yes, it's Friday night. Just get that in your head. If you, do, if you do a little me, it's Saturday, Sunday. What? Friday. Where? I don't even know the words, oh. but that's what they played when I walked up last night. Okay, Eddie. Just before we come on to um, the Wayne, which is about to commence very shortly, um, so this is not going to be that long. Um, Let's talk about other news. Connor Ben is here. Obviously, there's strong rumours that because Manny Pacquiao's here, and obviously you've thrown a little bit of bait out last week, suggesting some of Connor Ben's opponents. But is a deal close to being done there with Ben and Pacquiao? We'll see. We'll see. What do you mean? We'll see. What? I don't want to is say too much. Yeah, look, absolutely. I just spoke yeah, to Connor. Yeah. He said like, th yeah, there is th there's, there that's is. an option. Yeah, we are. We can make the Manny Pacquiao fight. Could it be sealed here this weekend? Could be, or it could happen at Wembley Stadium or at Spurs. Okay. But obviously Manny Pacquiao, the size of that fight, we got the opportunity to do that. You know, obviously only here if it fits within their plans. Somewhere else around the world, many op options and offers. The UK would be amazing to take Manny there for his first fight. But we'll see, we'll see. Okay. But you're waiting today for news regarding Conor Ben's hearing, correct? I'm waiting for two weeks. It's supposed to be a couple of days, supposed to be a week, supposed to be two weeks, so imminent. Um, okay, so you can't really say too you much say until... Too much. You know, when you're on, you know, when you're working on a deal of that size, I've learned in the past, you know, we'll just, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Okay. Okay. Um, so, as we understand also, you've been told by Ben Shalom and Boxer that uh, they will be pulling Adam Azim out of the Dorman Smith fight, but haven't done yet. Is that correct? That's correct, yeah. They actually, so I heard someone said that someone said that Dorman Smith didn't want the fight, of which we went straight back and said, can we just categorically confirm that Dorman Smith has always wanted the fight? I mean, I don't know how many interviews I've got to give. We will do the fight on your platform, our platform, it doesn't matter. We'll top the money up, we'll, whatever we need to do to make it work. But they've already confirmed they're not taking the fight. It's just really, I find it quite insulting to Dalton Smith that they'd even mess around. Like, if you had no intention of taking the fight, why wait to pull out? What are you going to do, pull out on the day of the bid? Fucking marvellous. Um, so yeah, we'll see, but also, is that Benson? Benson! Wow, what a big moment. You coming on IFL? No, he wouldn't come on. We've already tried. We've already oh, tried. That's Michael that'd Benson. Be a massive there. moment. That'll give you huge numbers. He's declined sure, it. Benson? This sure? is a good moment if you just want to Benson, pop your head in. He don't. He wants to be the Al Heyman of the of the media world. Um, yeah. So I'm thrown now because Benson's here. What were we talking about? Uh, Azim and Azim, Dalton. Yeah, just, just bored of talking about it. You know, I got a great fight for Adam Azim. That once he pulls out of the Dawn Smith fight, I'm going to. I'll just say it now, shall I? Because we were going to do it after, if, if he was going to win the fight. Sam Jones might be annoyed at me. Cameron Vong. Cameron Vong against Adam Azim. That is the fight to make. If Cameron Vong comes through Jordan Flynn, Cameron Vong against Adam Azim. Massive fight for the North East, for the Midlands, wherever you want to do it. That is the fight. Once, once Adam Azim pulls out of, of the Dalton Smith fight, if Cameron Vong beats Jordan Flynn in Manchester, that is the fight we want to make. Okay, there's a wow to that, if, if that, but again, we're always sceptical of this because of, you know, 
these situations, not materialising. Derek. Derek, Derek, Derek Chisora, you can't. Chisora just pulled down. You can't do that. You can't do that anywhere, let alone here. Are you good, mate? You alright? Are you? Good, very good. How are you, Derek? I'm alright. Congratulations on the snooker. Yeah, it was good actually. Yeah, it was really good. good, yeah. yeah well it was done. amazing. It was How amazing. How are you cooking? Really you alright? I'm alright. Make America great again, yeah? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. You know, I'll let you do your thing. Alright, bro. See yeah. you a bit, yeah. Are we going to see a bit of delicious TV today? Yeah, come on. Yeah. Go and get yeah, it going. I've got, got a question for you. Alright, alright. We'll save it. Save it. Save it. Um, okay, so, I mean, you've lo he's lost me here. We've got Benson, Chisora, a gun range. Okay. Adam Azim against Cameron Vong. But okay. if Cameron Vong gets through Jordan Flynn, that's the fight to make. Okay. Eddie, what is going on with the situation regarding um, Katie Taylor and Chantel Cameron? We saw Chantel Cameron's post she put out the other day. Can you tell us, because when I ever ask you, it's like you said, that talks were ongoing, etc. Trying to sort ongoing. the money out, but what what what's we, we are, look, what's not happening? At the, um, the roadmap for Katie Taylor. She's got her own ideas of who she wants to fight, where she wants to fight. Um, we have been in discussions with Chantel. We haven't been able to reach a deal yet. Will we? I don't know. Will she fight Chantel Cameron? A million percent. Will it be in May? I'm not so sure. Um, there are a couple of other fights that she's looking at as well. Um, she'll fight anybody. I'm. A million percent sure that the, Kate, the Cameron Taylor fight will happen. I just can't tell you whether it'll be in May or not. Has Chantel Cameron taken a pay cut or said that she'll take a pay cut in order for that Katie Taylor fight to happen? Uh, I think I think Chantel Cameron's been pretty reasonable. I wouldn't, you know, I'm not going to give this interview and say Chantel Cameron's pricing her out. I don't think she is, but you know, we haven't been able to take that fight outdoors, so we're back in the free arena and we've got to try and make the numbers work. So. It's difficult. I don't. I think Chantel has been forthcoming trying to make the fight, and I think the fight will happen. It's just whether it happens in May or not. Would you say that there's more lucrative offers for Katie Taylor than the third fight with Chantel Cameron? Uh, there is a fight we're looking at that would enable her to make more money, but it's not just you know, Katie Taylor. Obviously, like any fighter wants to make as much money as possible, but it's part of the plan, and the plan 100% includes Chantel Cameron. It's just when we do it. So we've got to make the numbers work from our end. Obviously, she's just won the fight. She's bigger than ever. Um, and like I said, we're in negotiations for a couple of other fights as well. But we'll see. But we're going to find news of Taylor's yeah, next move. Yeah, I mean, look, Soon. I mean, May's not that far. May the 25th uh, is three, 11 weeks this Saturday. So you say that Kate's had a fight on that date regardless? Yes. And, but the likely chances of, of it being Chantel Cameron is 50-50? Maybe, yeah. yeah. Um, just going back to uh, yesterday, what did you make of the press conference? I didn't really talk to you because mm. Frank Warren hijacked your interview, which was a, a great moment for IFL as well, see you two getting on so well. Um, but yeah, that press conference was kind of, there was lots of bones to pick out of that. We had Tyson Fury mm. in the front row kind of, with a little bit of back and forth with uh, Francis Ngarni. What did you make of the whole thing? I like, you know, I think... Over the years, you gain a lot of experience around big fights, and it was it's quite cool to sit there with AJ and just sit back and watch Ngannou and Fury go at it. I mean, I watched them go at it at His Excellency's house, firstly, which was unbelievable to Can watch. You give us your version. I mean, I wasn't going to say anything about the incident because I didn't know whether it was one to be talked about, but obviously it's been talked about a lot. Andy Lee told IFL. Yeah. So Tyson stuck it on him. Proper. I mean... Went straight up to Where were you standing? I was standing... Okay. About this far away. Okay. So Francis walked in, Tyson went up to him and said, Oh, hey, hello. And he went, oh, hello. And he went, um, I've got a bone to pick with you. You called me a coward. And Francis sort of went, what? And he went, yeah. You called me a coward. You called me a yellow belly. I, I you know... I beat you before I beat you. No, I beat. He said, "I, you know, you didn't beat me. Look at the records. You know, blah blah blah." Anyway, went, went off. It was quite like Andy Lee put his bottle of water down, and he was ready. Obviously, I was there if anything went on. I was, you know, ready to jump in myself. And where was you going to back? Mate, I just, I actually went like this. Um, what was Joshua? Where was Joshua? Joshua wasn't in the room. Right. And, and then he, Turkey Al Shek wasn't in the room no. either. And then he came in the room, AJ, and I went. Because everyone was like this. And he went, I said to AJ, did you see that? And he went, what? I went, 
mate, that was unbelievable. And then I think that the response from Nganu last night was a little bit like, because it, it was a complete surprise to him. So he wasn't, wasn't none of these guys are going to back down, but he was a bit like, what, what is going on here? And last night, I think that was like a reaction of him thinking, actually, I, sh I should have actually, you know, I was a bit non -com -com It wasn't really the place to be confrontational, to be fair. But I think his comments last night were quite, were quite scary. But, um, yeah. Well, why didn't... Is it weird that AJ and, and Fury didn't talk at all that night? Maybe a little bit. I mean, Tyson was on one. Enjoyed his company, actually. Um, but he was... He was on one. Um, but, but they were standing having photos with each other. And yeah, just, it wasn't like, they weren't like, but maybe a little, but no, I don't believe there was any conversation. A bit of lip balm she found in my pocket. I think it's sort of from a plane or something. Mm. Okay. But it was an eventful night either it's way. unbelievable. As is every night at His Excellencies. Every time I go there, it's the most incredible experience. Thoughts on Jake Paul and Mike Tyson on Netflix? Yeah, I mean, I guess if you criticise it, you're a hater, aren't you? So I, I'm probably not the best person to ask because I love the sport of boxing. So I find it incredibly sad. But it's a big event. I mean, you can't deny that. Like, But it's, is he 60 yet, Mike Tyson? 58. Yeah, I mean... And, and one of the greatest fighters that ever lived. But I'm 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 one of a, a small percent of absolute mad boxing lovers that actually breaks my heart to see that. But it is a big event on a new platform, big stadium, and it will there will be a lot of people watching. What do you know about Net, Netflix pay per view? What do I know about it? Yeah, what do you know about their introduction into our world? Our world, world. Very your world, very powerful platform. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm sure it'll be a, a huge event, great platform. I mean, to see them doing live sport, it's like Amazon, fantastic. More platforms, the better. Any development on Canelo? Uh, ongoing conversations, really. Not too much from my side. Obviously, Jaime Munguia is with Golden Boy, who are exclusive to DAZN. PBC have made him an offer. We've made him an offer. We'll have to see which way it goes. You know, um, Canelo's going to go for the best deal he can possibly find. And we've got to also make the right deal for us commercially and for our broadcaster so that we can pay, we can lodge the money, not we'll pay you six months after the event. We'll pay you in escrow before the event, that's what we do, because we have a lot of money and we don't mess around. So if people don't want to mess around and people want to make fights rather than talking about make fights and then the weeks pass by and the days pass by and actually could end up losing a fight, that this can happen in boxing and we don't mess around ever so we'll see any development on the 5v5 is that going to get announced on saturday the weight classes i believe will be announced on saturday some unbelievable plans some incredible twists and turns and set of events occurring as we speak which i can't talk about at the moment but there will be a major press conference in london in the next two weeks that will blow your mind really Okay. But we're not going to get an announcement as such after You'll the get fight. The weight classes, right. yeah. Okay. And no one will know the fighters. Not myself, not Frank, not His Excellency. Only the fighter who is competing. But they will not even know who they are competing against until the press conference. Ooh. And um, some additional major twists and turns. Okay. All right. Um, just. One minute, and uh, I'll let you go, Edward. So, if this Conor Ben and Manny Pacquiao situation does come to anything this weekend, when would that likely take place? We shall see. What could it end up in the summer? Yes. Could it end up here in Riyadh? <laughs> if that's what His Excellency wanted to do. Or it could June. end up at Wembley. June. Okay. Interesting. Um, Eddie, listen, just to give everyone a final message, because I won't speak to you now before the fight. Okay. So. It's Friday when it's Saturday. No, Friday night. Listen, 
This is one of those nights where you finish work or you finish whatever you're doing and you sit down and you watch an incredible night of boxing from top to bottom. There's so much to talk about on the undercard, but I just want to pick up a couple of fights. Firstly, an all-British clash between Mark Chamberlain and Gavin Gwynn. But more importantly than that, Israel Madrimov against Kerbinov, undefeated in 10 versus undefeated in 25. For the WBA 154 pound world title, you are gonna be a star and a big player in boxing if you win that fight. Justice Huni against Kevin Lorena, brilliant heavyweight shootout. Zhang against Parker, what a fight. Liverpool's uh, Nick Ball against Mexico's Ray Vargas for the WBC world title, what a chance for Nick and a big one. Joshua against Nganu, two giants collide. This is an unbelievable night of boxing. Seriously, get your food in, get your drinks in, or your waters if you don't drink. Enjoy it with your friends, enjoy it with your mates. Be ready to be entertained live from Riyadh, and you can watch it all on the zone anywhere you are around the world. Enjoy. Will you knock him out? Who? Will he knock him out? Yes, he will. Bash. Wall Street memes casino. I'm fine. And sportsbook.